it should be a question of who fits what game plan, who fits what profile. Not a place where, uh, where can a, a player of color fit, which is not a fair thing to do. At this day and age, someone is, who's played the game, who's won the World Cup, who's been a player of the year, who's basically earned the stripes to be called a Springbok, to still do have a tag name quarter, and hence that's the one that probably probably hits home the most because I mean it is not fair. I don't know what transpired at SuperSport, and then what harm because clearly it's not something that. It's happened yesterday. It's probably something that took a while for him because he's a very calm person by nature. Rugby people are known as aggressive, but we could taught to have controlled aggression. And my journey basically to that I really was not an issue. Um, obviously, being a Springbok was a proud moment as well. So you can imagine, you're excited as a young man and getting that opportunity to actually represent your country in the best, sort of in the top of your class in terms of... Uh, accolades and obviously excitement was overwhelming so those little things well I'll call it little but not anyone else will call it little for me it really was not really an issue issue for me was to actually go there and represent and actually make it possible I mean to be honest with you for me being in a springbok I was probably the first not the first black guy there were black guys before me I was the first black guy in actually in the front row section which was something not as well heard of because of the nature of the guys who were playing the game, because of their size, the sheer size that they came with. And obviously to break that mold, for me it was about doing it so well that it's not a problem to select players of color, 